Good morning, friends, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers and dad-like figures out there. Um, if you're new to the videos, my name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. Welcome to the video. This is how I have been and will continue to deliver children's messages for you all on Sunday mornings. Um, and like I just said, it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the dads and dad figures that you have in your life, um, whether that's your actual dad, your grandpa, uncle, godfather, or even just a family friend who is like a dad to you. It all counts. Make sure you say happy Father's Day to them today. Um, and that's what we're going to be focusing on in today's uh, children's message. We're going to talk about fathers, and specifically a father's wisdom. So, uh, grab the kids, get a comfy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and we're going to be talking about dads. Okay, we're talking about father's wisdom today, and I chose Proverbs 4 verse 1 to read to you. And that verse says, listen, children, to a father's instruction, pay attention and gain understanding. So I want you to think, do you listen to all the wise thing that your father says to you? After all, our fathers are older than us. They have a lot more life experience than us, and therefore they're probably a lot wiser than we are, right? To prove my point, I have a list of top 10 sayings of wise fathers. And I'm sure you've heard your dad say many or all of these things to you. I definitely have. So number 10 is, why? Because I said so, that's why. <laughs> Usually when you ask to do something that he doesn't have an excuse for you not to do, even though he doesn't want you to do it. <laughs> Number nine, uh, just wait till you have kids of your own. Number eight, what did I just get finished telling you? Number seven, this one never feels true. This is going to hurt me much more than it hurts you. <laughs> uh, number six, do I look like I'm made out of money? <laughs> when you ask for a new iPad or something. Uh, number five, not now, I'm watching the game when football's on. Uh, number four, when you decide to do something potentially dangerous. When you break your leg, don't come running to me crying. <laughs> uh, number three and number two are both driving related. Uh, you might suggest getting directions and dad says, no, we are not lost. <laughs> and then number two, once you are lost, be quiet. Can't you see I'm trying to think? <laughs> and then finally, number one on the list of the top things a wise father says is, how should I know? Go ask your mom. <laughs> so now that I think of it, maybe your dad doesn't always have the right answers. But to be fair, most of the time, dad knows the right thing to say and, and to do in, in each situation, right? But... Also, God has blessed most of you with a godly father as well. Um, and God tells us to show our fathers honor and respect as well. We should also remember to pray for our fathers and ask God to give them the wisdom that they need to train us up in the way that God wants us to grow. It's also a good thing to say thank you to your dad. That's what today is all about. We should do it more than once a year, obviously, but today is a dedicated day to say, thank you, Dad, I appreciate everything you do for me. And that includes father figures in your life that aren't necessarily your biological dad. You can thank all father figures for providing for your physical needs, like the house you live in, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Uh, you can thank them for the wisdom that they share with you even though they might not always have all the answers and tell you to go ask your mom. They do have lots of wisdom to share with you, though. So don't be afraid to ask your dad about hard questions because they have great advice for you. They've got lots of wisdom for you. And finally, we can thank our fathers. If we're fortunate enough to have this in our lives, we can thank our fathers for living godly lives to set good examples for us to follow. Pretty cool, right? 
So Father's Day is all about appreciating and thanking God for your father and thanking your father for everything that he does for you or all the father figures in your life. Um, and it's important to remember that while we do have fathers and father figures in our lives, our earthly lives, we also have God the Father up in heaven. So take time today on Father's Day to thank God for all everything that he's given us, including our amazing fathers and father figures. So I want you guys to make sure you thank your mom, or not your mom, you should always thank your mom, but especially thank your dad for everything that he does for you today, uh, even when it's telling you to go ask your mom, because that's also good advice. <laughs> All right, let's pray, and then I'll let you go enjoy your Father's Day as a family together. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me, and let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for our fathers, and we pray that you will bless them with the wisdom needed to be good fathers. We thank you for all the other father figures in our lives, whether it's uncles, godfathers, grandparents, um, or even just family friends who have helped raise us up in our lives, and thank you for all of the godly men in our lives that give us good examples of how to uh, to live and grow up in the way that you want us to. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay guys, um, I'll let you go enjoy your Father's Day. Don't forget to check out the virtual worship on our website uh, to catch Pastor Gibbs' sermon. And I just want to say, Happy Father's Day! Bye!